What's up, kinfolk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Today, we are celebrating the Sooners getting into the 2018 NCAA tournament. Oh my goodness. First, shout out to Lacey, who is the wife of Coach B. Coach B has been destroying the Patreon. Like, seriously. Go check it out. That's ridiculous. But we're here now for a live special show because, man, I really didn't expect us to get in, but we're good. Now that we're in, hi, haters. Hi, hi, haters. We got some throat punch over there for you to drink in case you're hating. By the way, Oklahoma State has sent out immediate press release that they are retroactively being selected for the 2018 NCAA tournament. Kind of like that 1945 national championship that still belongs to Army. Uh, if you didn't hear, Oklahoma is the number 10 seed in the Midwest region that Kansas is the number one seed in. Oklahoma will face Rhode Island on Thursday in Pittsburgh. Don't know the time. Don't really know much about Rhode Island except that it's not an island, so we got that already in the bag. No, real talk. Rhode Island is a good basketball team, 25-win basketball team. Lost its conference tournament game to Davidson, and if you listen to the, the TBS broadcast live studio show where the head of the selection committee is talking, he said, Davidson knocked out Notre Dame. So now we got Notre Dame fans rooting for Oklahoma come Thursday. I like that. On the flip side, the first text that I got was from my old man who as soon as Charles Barkley picked Rhode Island as the first uh, first and only upset in the first round, my dad says uh, expletive Charles Barkley. So that tells you where my family is coming down on all of this. But then Charles Barkley, late in the broadcast, went to work on the selection show committee about why Oklahoma, who was 2-8 and eight down the stretch, was allowed to not only get in, but make it out of the first four. Many of us, including myself, wanted to hear what he had to say about that. But it was something that we always wanted to believe. And that a lot of people have a hard time still believing, which is that the committee took into account Oklahoma's strength of schedule, right? Number one, and the games that they played in November and December, not just the games they played in January and February. And we're told that the committee takes the entire body of work into account all the time. This is a test case. This is a case study for why if you are a program who schedules hard games, who bakes in tough games into your schedule, that it will benefit you. You can go 2-8 and eight down the stretch if you got one of the best strength of schedules in the country, and the committee will smile on you. Now, Charles Barkley wanted to know, you know, with them going straight, were they in one seed to go 2-8 and eight and still make the tournament? Forget you, Charles Barkley. You, you hating, all right? Haters, we got throat punch over in the corner. And you can hold over there. It's right next to the Haterade to keep you hydrated because we care about you even though you don't care about us. Hi, Oklahoma State fans. Have fun at the National Invitational Tournament. That's called the NIT. That's called the Little Boys Tournament. And I'm so excited about this, man. Like, it almost feels like it's supposed to happen. We know we have the best player in the country. We've known that for months. We just haven't played yet. He hasn't really, I mean, check it out. He still averages 28-9 for the season. So it ain't like he hasn't been playing great basketball. But, but, if you ask the best player in college basketball to carry 9, 10, 11 other players, you know that that's not true. You know why LeBron James ended up going to Miami now. That's, that's what I tell people, right? You have a case study now for what it looks like if you put the very best player in college basketball on a uh, below average basketball team. And you know what the the it, all of it happened was that we made the NCAA tournament after going 2 and 8 down the stretch. I'm okay with that. This is the same team that also went 11 and 20 last year with a similar record. We won at 7 down the stretch. All right? So so people that are talking about Trey Young needs to stay another year. No, he's gone. He's uh, many people got him as the number 7 pick to the Memphis Grizzlies. He's gone. He deserves to be gone. All right? There's no polishing to this kid in, in college basketball. He needs professional level basketball to continue to progress. But I digress because we're playing in the NCAA tournament and Oklahoma State is not. Baylor is not. Meanwhile, the Big 12 got seven teams out of a 10-team league into the NCAA tournament. So miss me with this. This is not a basketball conference. All right? All Kansas did was become the one seed. All right, get, get out of here, man. Get out of here. But let me see who made it into the chat. Let me see who's saying hi. How are you? Let me see what we got. John Rickards is in here. I love how everyone is hating on the Sooner selection, especially since we are in our Okie State. Well, especially since we are in our Okie State, Notre Dame, etc. Yeah, well, look, look. I mean, the only folks that are hating, we pointed those out, right? They're Oklahoma State fans. They're Texas fans. They're generally people that don't think highly of Oklahoma in general, let alone Oklahoma basketball. And if you would have seen me, like many other OU fans, on Wednesday night after we lost the Bedlam game, we'd be like, okay, 
fine. We'll go to the NIT. We deserve that. We didn't make it out of the first round of our conference tournament, and we went 2-8 and eight down the stretch. However, the selection, submit, uh, the election, selection committee tipped their hand early. Like, when we thought that we weren't really a top 25 team, they had us as a 16 seed overall. Not making it in a tournament. The 16th best team in the country. So they've already said way back in February that they're like, nah, we believe in Oklahoma. We believe in Oklahoma. We believe in Trey Young. We believe in Lon Kruger. We believe in the guy who's taken five different programs to the NCAA tournament. We believe in the guy who took Oklahoma to the Final Four not three years ago, two years ago. Come on, man. We believe in what he can do with good guards, and he's got the best guard in the country in Trey Young. I love that Josie's in the room. Now, I know a lot of people are going to tell me, you know, Josie didn't have anything to say about it because he's out of the room. BS. BS. It ain't cheating if you ain't trying. I'm glad we had our guy in there for once because the same people who want to tell me that we don't deserve to play in the big dance this year are the same people who want to just forget that Alabama got to slide into the college football playoff after losing to Auburn, not even making their conference championship game. And they got an extra week of rest while the rest of us were playing conference titles that we won. All right? So don't miss me with the we don't deserve to be there anywhere. It's all rigged. They proved that with the college football playoff selection show. They proved that when they put Alabama in there and let Alabama rob everybody with a national title. All right? A national title on an extra week of rest. So miss me with the whole argument about how Oklahoma does not belong in the big dance. It's not about belongs anymore. Ask St. Mary's if they belong. Yeah, they absolutely belong in this in the big dance. But they had one quality win against a quality opponent, and that matters. All right? You don't take it out with me. Don't come at me about what they did. Take it out with the selection committee. For once, did what they said they were going to do, which is honor, strength of schedule, honor the rate of your competition, honor how tough your league is. I love that. Let me see who else made it in here. Southern Pride's in here. What's up, fam? Ike's in here. What's up, fam? Jay Giss is in here. Cat Tiger. Hey, what's up? Steve. Oh, Stephen Gordon. What's good, fam? I uh, think we can make the final four, RJ. Yeah, I do. You know, we, enough things slide. You know, we, it, we would get to face... Uh, Kansas and the Elite Eight should, you know, Kansas not do what they normally do and get bounced in the Sweet 16. You know, uh, that one's for you, Ari. I know that you're watching. Love you, Ari. Uh, let me see who else is in here. 405, boy. As terrible as my Sooners are, Boomer Sooner. Bye-bye, Stoolwater. Pokes and flexes short horns. <laughs> well, let me see who else we got in here. Uh, what else we got in here? Trapper, what's good, fam? Jimmy Akers, what's good, fam? Let me see. Jackie Moore's in the house. Al, what's good, fam? Finn McCrady, what's good? Boomer, my sooner. I like it. Boomer, my sooner in the house. Hey, Hank in Lawton today. Ooh, nine Galveston. That's what's up. Uh, Aggie suck. This is true, cat. Uh, let me see who else we got in here. Tammy Edwards. What's good? Katie Stuve. What's good? Texas sooner in the house. I don't want to be super negative, but this team has lost its way. I don't see it happening. Look, my thing has been, we play in a really tough conference. We play in a ridiculously tough conference, and we play everybody at least twice. At least twice, right? And I'm saying at least twice because you never know who you're going to pick up in the Big 12 tournament. But I've also said, our non-conference has been pretty good, man. You know, save the Alabama loss. We were pretty good in non-conference play. We took an Oregon team into double OT, or excuse me, into OT. And, uh, and all Trey Young did was drop, what, 39? Like 39, 43, somewhere in there? I've always said that we need out-of-conference play to be good because people that have seen Trey, they've seen Trey. But it's one thing to draw up a diagram about how to defend him, and it's another thing to execute it. And West Virginia more or less laid out a blueprint for how to take the ball out of Trey Young's hand by essentially making him hold it all the time. So um, um, I hear you about the negativity, but I feel good about it. I do. Let me see. Who else we got in here? JSL, Michigan State getting ready to run. Eh, okay. Yeah, we'll get to them later. Love you, JSL. Uh, Pure Flames, if I got a Kyler Murray jersey and a Jeremy Grant jersey, my life would be complete. That's a non sequitur, but I support your life choices, my man. Uh, let's see what we got. M. Keegs, what's good, fam? Jake Small in the house. Bill Beach in the house. Jay Bones in the house. Fire Mike Stoops, I like it. Uh, let me see. Sheldon Lamey, this ain't Wednesday, but what up? Yeah, man, it's a special day. It's a special day, you know? I didn't expect us to make it. If you expected us to make the NCAA tournament, I would say that you haven't been watching OU men's basketball for the last two months because it's been rough. Oh, man. Uh, let me see. Ike says, we got a solid chance at a Sweet 16, even possible Elite 8, and that's possible. John Burkett says, what's up? What's up, fam? Let me see who else we got in here. Tommy Donald, what's good, fam? Uh, oh, to, to address Ike when he talks about Sweet 16, and he talks about possibly even a, an Elite 8, this, this entire season has been a win for me. All right? Let me, let me lay this out for you. 
This was an Oklahoma team that basically finished how they were picked. They were picked to finish 5th, 6th in the conference this year. Even with Trey Young on the roster. This is preseason by the Big 12 coaches. The people who are supposed to know basketball better than anybody else in this league. And all they did was finish tied for 6th. Alright? And then they got an 8 seed. Well, they're playing a 9 seed in the tournament. Against a, a Kansas team that has always been good. And Bill Self continues to just lord over this conference. They're going to rename the basketball version the Jayhawks conference. Because nobody can break their strangle grip on the title. But outside of that, check it out. Texas Tech is good. TCU is good. West Virginia is good. I mean, uh, look, uh, it's really difficult to, to say to people, Oklahoma really ain't as bad as you think because they went 2-8. and eight. But when you look at who they've been playing, tell me which one of these teams is, is absolutely terrible. Which one? Iowa State wasn't absolutely terrible. Kansas State's good. You know? I mean, who, who else? Who else? Oklahoma State. We're talking about them being our first uh, or last four in, you know, uh, in the first four game. And now they're probably going to be a one seed in the National Invitational Tournament, which, you know, they're probably going to try to put that banner up sometime. Be like, selection 2018 NIT tournament and then asterisk. We pre retroactively been selected to the NCAA tournament 2018. But my point stands. This is a deep league. This is a really deep league. So for us to even make the tournament, this is a win. We will, we finished above 500 this year. All right. Last year, 11 and 20. And this is basketball, and we're a football school. Well, we're really a softball school, thanks to Patty Gasso. But you make my point here. Oklahoma State has hung their hat on wrestling and basketball. Football is a relatively new thing for them. And for them not to make it, and for us to make it, I, you know, I, I, pride there. Pride there. You know, now Oklahoma men's basketball program. Follow up. Take this momentum into Thursday and go destroy Rhode Island, which is not an island. It's a peninsula, all right? All right? It's a peninsula. It's not, we got this in the bag. We got this in the bag. Oh, my God. What is this, Bill? 999. I'm over here ranting, and Bill hit me with the super chat. Bill, what are you doing? What are you, <laughs> Bill over here making our, <laughs> RJ, love your dedication to our Sooners. A little thank you. I, man, real talk. I appreciate that, Bill. Y'all, I'm here because I like being here, and I like hanging out with y'all. I, Y'all, man, y'all are awesome. I, I'm over here ranting. I didn't even see. I got the laptop open so I could see the chat. And and, and I'm staring at the, at the new camera while I do the live. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate that, man. Between you and Coach B and Terry Beckham and Clark Beckham and all the people who support this channel and support me and support me being here every day, man, I get I get overwhelmed real easy. I Hopefully this doesn't turn into a cry stream. Which I want to do. I feel like Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, let me see. Texas Sooners says, uh, Bill just made us look bad. <laughs> nah, man. Y'all are here. Uh, Y'all are hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, Jay Giss has got to run some errands. All right, folks. I appreciate you. Catch you on the replay. Uh, Jay Bones, can we set up a meeting between you and Mike Stoops so you guys can go over a new defensive scheme? Going to be lots of shouting. There's going to be lots of shouting, lots of red faces, lots of broken clipboards. Lots of me diagramming what exactly a three technique and a nine technique look like. Lots of Mike yelling about, well, you can't really run that in this league anymore. Yeah, but we can do that. Let's do that. Let me see. Uh, let me. Who else we got in here? Uh, yeah, see, somebody's over here. RJ hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> Bill. Man, y'all are, man, uh, I appreciate y'all. Kyler hit a Grand Slam Friday and at night in baseball. Yeah, I was actually getting ready to, to drop that video. Uh, the tonight, and it might even have to hold off until Tuesday night because we need to talk about Kyler being the two-sport athlete that he is. Uh, let me see, my leg, uh, my leg killing it in baseball, RJ. Uh, I, my leg, my, my leg. Uh, are you talking about Kyler? I think he's talking about Kyler, John. I think that's who you, Cody Wood says, ha yeah, buddy. Kyler killing it in baseball. Yeah, he is. He really is. Uh, Kat says, congrats on the 40 grand from Natty Light. Appreciate that. Hey, man, that's reps that I got here. If I don't get these reps doing this, where y'all watching these videos? You know, and if I don't have Laurel say, sit down at her house, make the video, go win the money. Man, shout out to Laurel. Uh, that's that's what the, the sign is back there. I know you can't see it. It says, high pocket, uh, high weapon X, and high brave. Inside joke. Uh, start the Spencer Rattler countdown. Hey, man, uh, I've been trying to get him on, on a podcast. I thought we had something hooked up. We didn't. Uh, reach out and tell him that you want to be in, want him on the Woosaw podcast because I love to have him. I just want to talk to him. Uh, about what's going on in Phoenix over there. 
Let's see. Who else was in here? I saw a new name. Chris Sullivan. What's good? North Georgia Sooner. People here hate me, but I know what I saw from 2015 until now. Boomer. And I'm going to give you a Sooner there. Way to hold it down, fam. Hey, if you can, go go over there. You know, knock on a few doors. They got this wide receiver that we kind of like, kind of want, kind of want to flip him. His dad's got roots over here. He claims that he's that Oklahoma's his dream school. You know who I'm talking about. Come come get him. Come come Tell him to come home. Tell him to come home. That's all I'm saying. Tell him to come on. You know, tell, tell Hazelwood, come on home. Come on home, fam. Let me see. What we got? Uh, wishbone highlights were great, by the way. I appreciate that, CH Fishing. I know there's a contingent of folks who watch the channel who either, one, know a lot about the Switzer area, the 70s, the 80s. We don't really talk about the 90s. But uh, that's, that's, a, that's a group of folks that I really care about. They're near and dear to me. Um, they support the channel hard. You know, so I'm thinking about Terry Beckham, I'm thinking about Sidney Tillery, I'm thinking about Don King, I'm thinking about JSL, I'm thinking about those folks who who remember those days uh, and want to learn the young folks a little something or other. We're going to do more of that. Let me see. Uh, 405 Boy says, if OU plays together, who thinks they can go far? OSU and Texas will probably do good in the NIT. For those that shop at Walmart, who <laughs> will fresh NIT shirts for OSU fans? Uh, I you look, look, man. It's going to come down to can 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 Trey Young average 10 dimes or more. If Trey Young can drop 10 dimes in a game, we win. That's that's it. He's going to get his points. Everybody knows that. But if he can distribute the ball, if Brady Manick can knock down shots, if Odoms can knock down shots, right? If Christian James can knock down shots, if Christian Doolittle comes to play, if Kadeem Latin is a rebounding machine, if Jamani McNeese is altering shots, yes. We had the goods. I, for, remember, we were the number four team in the country at one point. So it ain't as if it'll be some shock if we make the Final Four. It's about remembering who they are and committing to the task of going out there and, and, and sincerely taking it. Just take it. Just take it. Not to get on the Manziel right now, but look, man. It's yours. Go get it. Go take it. Hustle for it. Let me see who else we got in here. Boom, I heard OSU fans say... Texas fans and friends might sound bad, but at least they were orange. Then I leaned over and said, why you suck like Texas? <laughs> oh, man. Kelly Elaine, what's good, fam? I was in there. It's there in the night, me and the band. Yeah, the 90s was a rough stretch for OU fans in general. I mean, Gibbs was all right, but after that, you got, got to throw Schnellenberger in there, 95, for that. I think he went 5-5-1. Five, five, and one. I think there's a tie in there, if I'm, if I'm correct. Correct me if I'm wrong there. And then the Blake years that nobody likes to mention. You know, the only good things to come out of the Blake years were coaches. You know, uh, Justin Fuente, for instance, who's an outstanding coach at Virginia Tech now. But uh, that, yeah, let me see. Who else we got in here? Uh, let me, Hank says, I remember OU at Nebraska, 1976. Greatest football game in the history of Oklahoma. Um... Hank, since that didn't end in the national championship, I'm going to dispute that just a little bit, but your point is taken, and the sentiment is extremely well taken, all right? Going to make me pull out my Jamel Holloway jersey here in a minute. Let me see. Steel Boy says, there's only one Texas. Seriously? Copycats. Yeah, I made that live stream last Wednesday. If you haven't seen it, Texas has tried to use there's only one in their recruiting paraphernalia, in their recruiting uh, handouts, in, in their flyers that they stick on the wall and make Tim Beck tweet. And I put Tim Peck on blast. Why are you stealing? Why are you stealing? You know, just grand theft. Just grand theft internet out here. Stop it. Stop it. You're Texas. Be better. We, you're, we're better when you're better. But since you suck while we like making fun of you, get better. Nobody likes a trash Texas, all right? We all benefit from a good Texas just as we all benefit from a good Oklahoma. Stop that. Let me see. Who else really was in here? Uh, Trapper says, I want to read Mama's book, My Gun Safety Ain't On. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, go ahead. My mama talks about this time that she dropped her gun and the safety was off, and, and it's funny. Let me see. Laura says, my brother was there in the 90s, too. He was in the Pride. Ooh, uh, there's some good Pride stories in there. Matter of fact, if y'all see Laura in the chat, tell me, because sometimes I miss her. Uh, Let me see. Who else is in here? Steel Boy's in here. Trapper's in here. Boomer, my sooner says, what do you think of the Cleveland Browns trade moves? Man, I've been making jokes for days. Matter of fact, check yesterday's uh, video where I'm starting a kind of a new trend about top headlines this week in sports because I like jokes and I like making jokes. And um, I think a lot of other folks like me when I make jokes because that's kind of kind of what I do when I'm having a good time. So, I mean, you know, the Cleveland Browns out here just, just destroying careers. 
But I also believe that if they really want to use their powers for good, they go draft Grayson Allen, somebody that America genuinely hates. On the flip side, Jarvis Landry, you know, walking through the streets of Ohio, claiming that there is no God and that this place resembles a biblical hell. You know, uh, I, I feel for Tyrod Taylor because he's becoming a sacrificial lamb again. And if you believe the draft analysts and the draft experts, and one of them I genuinely do believe because Adam Schefter makes a living off of being right and having a great read of the situation, they're going, look, they're going to take a, they're going to take a quarterback at number one. This doesn't change anything for them. They think that either one, Tyrod Taylor becomes another trade piece, or two, he's the new starter and the guy that they draft gets to learn from Tyrod Taylor and the way he does things. So it doesn't take Baker off the board. And if you check out my Facebook, you'll see a video that I uploaded of Baker just dropping dimes. I'm just showing off the accuracy of his arm at street clothes. I mean, it's it's a superpower, his accuracy. So it's not out of the question for, for them to still take a quarterback. However, many folks believe it's going to be Darnold or Josh Allen. So you either get a guy who turns the ball over all the time in Sam Darnold, right? Who A guy who I've said many times has thrown more picks than Steven Adams. Or you get Josh Allen who's liable to kill somebody with an air pass because he'll throw it 70 miles an hour into the stands and somebody will get concussed and that'll be that. But you know, look, for us as Sooner fans who don't want him to end up at Cleveland, this is all well and good. We're, we're fine. We're fine. He's, he's, he'll go to Denver and everything will be just fine. He'll go to New York, the Giants or the Jets, and everything will be fine. I'm, I'm beginning to think that the Jets is, is an okay landing spot. I like the Giants way better, uh, but I like the Jets about as much as I like him going to Miami. I just don't think that it's that great of an organization. And I think for a franchise quarterback, you need to go to a solid organization with a solid owner. All right? That's just the way it's got to be. Let's see, who else is in here? Uh, Man, <laughs> Bill Beach's Super Chat's just got to stay up there. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> nah, no, no, no. You're awesome, Bill. Hey, Lloyd Grissom made in here. What's up, fam? Uh, Let me see. Blevins to Rhodes to Peacock with the game. Oh, yeah. We're still talking. Uh, Killing the short run. Pure Flames. Jalen Saunders was one of my favorite receivers back in the Blake Bell years. Hey, man. He was small enough to fit in your pocket and still make plays. I mean, Jalen Saunders is is like the the 1.0 version of the 2.0 that's Hollywood Brown, you know? I liked him too. Let me see. Uh, Boomer, my sooner will do. Thanks, RJ. Make my mail route go by fast posting these videos every day. I appreciate that, fam. That's that. Those are the kind of stories that make me feel good is when people look forward to these videos every day. Um, so, it, I seriously, I, I sincerely appreciate it when you tell me. Cornelius Neal. So, you just got to skip my previous comment, homie. I didn't see it. So, like, like I tell people all the time, I got, like, a very small window for the chat, and it scrolls by for me really quickly. So, if I don't see it, it's not because I'm skipping it. It's because I didn't see it. So, just repost it. Or do what Bill did and drop a super chat, because then it goes bright color, and I don't miss it, and it goes to the front of the line. You know? Uh, let me see. CBR Swag says, we're in, but I think Oklahoma State definitely deserved to be in. It's stupid that they aren't. I'm not about to make a case for Oklahoma State making an NCAA tournament. I'm not built that way. Uh, Jason Brickman says, Sooners uh, will win the national championship next year. From your mouth to his ears, please. Eight. We want number eight. It's been almost 18 years. No, it has been 18 years. We want number eight. Give it to us. Let me see. Uh, Who else we got in here? Jackie Moore says, I had a bad day yesterday until I watched RJ's video. I appreciate that, Jackie. I do. Um, off kilter concepts, Denver needs a Q. Nelson first. Eh, maybe. We'll see. Uh, let me see. Who else we got in here? Ryan Collier. What's good, fam? Just got on. How do you feel if it's OU versus Duke? Um, that Jeff Capel might get hit with an errant pass, although I like him. You know, uh, Tupac wore his jersey, so that's got to mean something forever. You can't let that go by. But on the flip side, I would like nothing more than to stick it to Duke. I don't know anybody that I'm personally friends with who likes Duke, like legitimately likes Duke. I know a lot of people that respect what Duke does. I know a lot of people that respect what Coach K has done. But nobody likes Duke. You know, it goes back to the Leitner years. You know, it goes back to the idea that there are no tattoos. Oh, what's up, Cody Wood? I'm obsessive compulsive. Get a beer with this. <laughs> okay. Um, if I do, it'll be Natty Light. Let me see. Grind into number eight. Yup. But yeah, I, look, I, I, I would love us to end up at Duke. I would like to take out Kansas and I would like to take out Duke, make the final four, win the national championship. 
You know, I would love to do that. I'm not going to pretend that I wouldn't. Uh, we're already hearing trash about how small Kyler is already. He's five foot ten. You know, that's that's two inches shorter than Baker. But here's the other thing: people are hating because Kyler Murray can play two sports. You know, it's actually a shame that Kyler Murray can play two sports. I mean, it's just ridiculous because we certainly could use him playing the two guard for the Sooners men's basketball team. All right, I, and I had said, you know, the the the, the comparisons to Bo Jackson are just irresponsible and they're over the top because Bo Jackson didn't play quarterback. And I know Trapper had said, look, Bo could have, Bo knows. Yes, I know. Bo knows stocks and bonds. Bo knows Middle Eastern diplomacy. Bo knows string theory. We get it. But the point is, he didn't. And Kyler is. So if you're mad that Kyler Murray is dating football and baseball, you need to ask yourself about your choices because the only prerequisite to having both girls on each arm is a thunderbolt for an arm. Do you have it? Probably not. So you're not playing two sports. Get off Kyler Murray. The man is good. He's fine. And, and you know, if anything, he's worried about Austin Kendall. Austin Kendall's focus. He's getting reps. He's, he's waiting. You know, and Lord knows the first moment that it shows like Kyler Murray doesn't have the goods, Lincoln Riley's going to be like, Austin, let's go. And Austin's going to be ready. As an OU fan, I'm winning. And I don't understand why everybody else is so upset. Because I, I, as an OU fan, I want all of this. I want edgy. I want competition. I want nervousness. I want people to know that just because they've made it to Oklahoma doesn't mean you're going to start. Doesn't mean that we're just going to hand you the job. I don't see anything wrong with what's going on here. I love it. Let me see. What else we got in here? Uh, rakes and bakes. Hey, that's Kyler Murray. Rakes and bakes. I like it. Let me see. So many sooner headers. Yup. Uh, what, what did Cody Man, let's, what else we got here? Sean James says, Bo knows Jim Thorpe was the GOAT. Yeah, man. There wasn't anything Jim Thorpe couldn't do. Man, Jim, Jim Thorpe winning Olympics and playing football and playing baseball. Man, if, if round ball would have been a thing, Jim Thorpe would have done that too. You know, one day I need to do that video about how Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania got its name. That's controversial as all get out. Would Spencer Radler be able to play football and basketball because I heard he can hoop? Look, man, that's not my call. Look, if Lon Kruger decides that Spencer Radler can hoop and wanted to offer him, I'm sure they'd work it out. I, that's, that's not my call. It's also not my call because Spencer might just want to play football. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's something I would love to ask him on the podcast. I'd like to get him on the podcast. You know, uh, if you want to get him on the podcast, tell him about it. Let me see. Uh, but uh, but that'd be something to see. I mean, if you look at the if you look at highlights from his uh, his high school, and he's dunking on kids, and he's winning state championships in OU socks. What's not to love about that? I, I genuinely love it. Let me see who else we got in here. I'm trying to see who do I. I'm, I know I missed some folks. Rattler, the next OU basketball star. Honestly, I don't know, man. Every once in a while, Lon Kruger pulls a rabbit out of a hat. He did it with Buddy Hill. Nobody expected him to be a star. And then Trey Young, when he landed that commitment, people were like, "What?" How does he not end up in Kentucky or Kansas or some other place where they're going to pay you $150,000 in advance to play college basketball? Oops. Guess I wasn't supposed to say that out loud. Uh, Matt Carroll says, I'm not mad. <laughs> Me neither, fam. Let me see. What else we got in here? We got time for maybe two more questions, I think, because I'm half-hour live streams. Everybody knows. Off-season, half-hour. In-season, we do an hour. We do a pregame show. Or during the middle of the week, and then when we go immediately post game after football games. But man, it's six months till football. Y'all believe that? It's like 170 days till football. I need some football. Opening line: Oklahoma versus I and Rhode Island is a pick 'em. Ooh, yes! I thought we were gonna be like a seven point dog in that game. Now I feel real good because Rhode Island's gonna be able to travel. But it's Rhode Island, so how big could their traveling contingent be? I mean. Are we talking about a grade school classroom? Is that what we're talking about? Are we talking about enough folks that can fit into a VW bug? You know? I mean, really, seriously, think about that. How big is Rhode Island's fan base? For real. It can't be larger than anybody I could fit in my bedroom. You know? Like, that's, that, I'm not worried about them showing up. I'm really not. I would, I'd be worried about Pittsburgh fans that are rooting for Rhode Island, but why? Nah, man, we should be able to beat the bricks off this team. Get, put us in the second round already. Do you think our conference is the hardest in the four? Yes. Yes. Ridiculously difficult because the ACC is top heavy. The SEC is middling. The Pac-12 is Arizona and everybody else. You know, uh, the Big Ten, yeah, okay. The Big Ten's got four or five teams that can play. But Ohio State came on late. Michigan State usually runs the conference. Michigan kind of sort of shows up. But after that, Indiana hasn't been Indiana for years. 
And that's the thing that hurts them most. Now, I know a lot of folks going to say Purdue, but, yeah, okay, sure. Oh, Ars Dukin! <laughs> the $20 super chat. You're supposed to say something, man! <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> I think you made it orange just to mess with me. That's what I think. I think uh, we're Facebook friends. And if you want to be my Facebook friend, just hit me up with a friend request. I'm not, it's not regular. I mean, uh, and if you if you follow me on Twitter and you know you fan and you watch the, the YouTube channel, hit me up. I follow back. It's, it's not that big a deal. Uh, did NCAA investigations influence picks? No. I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't, that's not their job. If you're in, you're in. Uh, Frank Vlad says, 555 when you subbed to me. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, that's pretty early on, fam. I appreciate that. Uh, shout out to Laurel's birthday baby. Oh, wow. So, David Dukin's Super Chat is in honor of Weapon X. First name is La- uh, Logan. That is my girlfriend Laurel's firstborn. Her birthday was yesterday. She turned five. I took video, took pictures, bought a really big jeep that she kind of sort of drove all the way she got in it drove it to the playground jumped out to the playground because you know why walk when you can drive the jeep so i appreciate that david that's what's up uh let me see boomer took her 12 years as a sub to get a route of her own but it finally happened her customers love her for sure i'm just glad she loves what she does wow uh lauren i guess i missed a story back there i need to i need to check that out by the way if you're if you haven't noticed one of the new youtube um updates is that the live stream chat, the live chat will run beside the video no matter what from now on. I used to have to put it into this program that I use to make sure that people could see it as it goes by when they watch the replay. Now YouTube is making sure that that's just a function no matter what. So that's cool. I think that's cool. I think that's kind of awesome. Let me see. Uh, I thought Rhode Island was just territory like Puerto Rico. <laughs> Matt Carroll off the top rope. Uh, Pure Flame says, you're going to hit me with the follow. I post, oh, hey, man, just, just, if, if you don't, hit me in my mentions, say, hey, RJ, I'm on the YouTube live stream, follow back, and I'll hit you back, because I know a lot of folks' Gmails aren't their Twitter handles, and their Twitter handles sure as heck aren't their first names, so, yeah, uh, nothing like a pink scooter, uh, hey, man, I'm, I'm a pink scooter fan, we all know that, all right, so, now let's do the, let's do the rollout, let's do the roll call, we need to wrap it up, I know that this was an impromptu live stream, I appreciate everybody, who joined me, I gave a little announcement to this, I gave like 10 minutes to it, and I said, oh, we made it in, we gotta go live now, so if you made it live, I wanna shout you out, so please, leave your name or the one you want me to shout out, hey, Jacob Jansen, bet you don't remember me, please, yes I do, dude, uh, the avatars help too, because people that don't change their avatars, I remember them, and you know, like I know that Rise and Mercury is Laura now, you know, um, uh, and I know that when my beautiful girlfriend's face comes up, that's her face, and it's awesome. Uh, so if you're in here, say what's up. Lloyd Grissom, when we beat Rhode Island, who would we play? I'm not even looking that far ahead, fam. I just need to beat Rhode Island right now, to be to be quite honest. Let me see. Pierre Flame says, I'm out. Hit me up on Twitter. Uh, Ragu says, to be honest, I don't think we should have it made it. Uh, you know, I hear you, but we're in. Jackie! See you, fam. Lloyd Grissom, that's what's up. David Chapman, that's what's up. Oh, real quick, another shout-out to Coach B's wife, Lacey destroying my Patreon, you know, and, and that helps me make more videos, to be fair, it helps me afford better equipment, uh, all that stuff you guys are into, the production quality goes through the roof, I appreciate you, uh, let me see, Hank, what's good fam, Hank still in Lawton, Brian Johnson said what's up, what's up fam, uh, Bryce Ward, I see you fam, Laura, see ya, Mim Keegs, I see you fam, Jake Small, I see you fam, let me see, yes, we're live streaming Wednesday, I appreciate you, Jake Small, I see you fam, John Rickards, I see you fam, I appreciate that, Steve Gordon, how's the thunder looking? Like Billy Donovan needs to get fired. Uh, who else we got in here? Boomer, my sooner, I see you, fam. Putting Lovey Smith on blast. Eh. Who else we in here? Going Bill Beach. Well, still, man, that super chat's gonna be up here for a very long time. I appreciate you, fam. Let me see. Uh, who else we got in here? Anybody else? Going once. Going twice. All right, that's it for me. Oh. Jacob Jansen. Sup, RJ? Haven't been in a while. I appreciate you, fam. I saw the Super Chat. I appreciate it. All right, that's it for me. If you like the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU-related, college football-related, sports-related. We have a really good time, as you can very well see. Thanks for anybody who uh, is, you know, here for the first time. Don't be afraid to comment. I'm really not going to bite. 
I'm here because I like being here. And the folks that watch the channel like me being here. All right. That'll do it. I like you. Deuces.